how to program a simple holonomic drive. I added this code to my program so that I could see what the values were when I press my joystick. So if you see, I'm pressing my joystick forward, I get a Y value of 1. I pull it back, I get a Y value of negative 1. I go to the left, an X value of 1, and to the right, an X value of negative 1. So why is this important? I need to figure out how to take those numeric values from the joystick and give that information to the motors so that it'll drive me uh, forward or backward or left or right or diagonally, which is the whole point of holonomic drive. All right, so here it is again. For some reason, the y-axis is going forward and backward, and the x-axis is going left and right. So what's really helpful is that motors actually take very similar data. Motors take values from negative 1 to 1. The value of 1 will make it full power in one direction, and a value of negative 1 will have it drive in the opposite direction full power. And you can give any little fractional amount between negative 1 and 1. All right, so here's a sketch of the way my motors and wheels are laid out. And I'm going to name them clockwise, M1, M2, M3, and M4. So M1 is going forward, M3 is going backwards, M2 is to the right, M4 is to the left. Now if I wanted to drive forward, I only need motors M2 and M4 to drive forward. I wouldn't use the odd-numbered motors. To drive backwards, I need to use those same even-numbered motors and have them both turn backwards. Again, the odd-numbered motors will not move. To go to the right, this time I'm going to use only the odd-numbered motors and move those to the right. The even-numbered motors will not need to move. Similarly, to move left, only the odd-numbered motors move to the left. The more interesting case is when the robot wants to drive diagonally. All four motors will have to work together. So to move diagonally forward and to the right, you need the even-numbered ones to move forward and the odd-numbered motors to move to the right to get that movement in the diagonal direction. If you've already written uh, a teleop program for a normal robot that has typical four-wheel drive, the change is very easy to make. First, we're going to go into your hardware uh, code and change your motors. So before I had mine named after the left side and the right side motors, now I'm going to name my motors uh, maybe M1 front, M2 right, M3 back, and M4 uh, left, just so that they're more specific. Now because I changed the name of the motors, I need to change any references from the old names to the new names. So you can see the Android Studio has marked all the old names as red, and now I need to go in and change them. Also, I want to change the names in the phone to something more uh, related to what we're doing. So I'm going to name those M1, M2, M3, and M4. So my M1 front is getting mapped to the M1 motor when I configure it in the phone. And my M2 right will be called M2. My M3 uh, back will be called M3. And my M4 uh, left will be called M4 in the phone. Uh, because this is a different kind of setup, I'm not going to reverse any of my motors. And I'm just going to comment out this code since I don't need it. Change these old motor names here uh, to the new motor names to set the power to zero. We don't want the motors to turn until we start uh, running our op modes. So M1 front, M2 right, all these motors need to be turned off by setting the power to zero. If 
finally, we have to change the code for run without encoder. I'm not using any encoders for this robot right now, so I want to make sure that I set these motors to having no encoder. And that's it. There's no other code that needs to change in the hardware file. All right, we may be done with the hardware file, but we do need to go into the teleop file and change how the joystick is setting the power on the motors. Not much needs to change in my teleop code uh, to make this run holonomic. All these variables, the class, all stays the same. What will change first are the double left and the double right. I don't need these variables anymore. I don't drive uh, left side motors and right side motors. However, I do have a front back power and a left right power. And you'll see how we use those in a moment. Next in the code, we initialize the hardware map. We still have our same telemetry. We have to wait for the program to be started, played, and then we go into the while loop. This is the loop that runs the program and checks the joysticks over and over and sets the power on the motors over and over. So we're inside this while loop. First thing I want to do is start changing the old tank code uh, joystick information to our new uh, information for our holonomic drive. And I'm only using one joystick, so I'm going to get the X and Y value from the left joystick. Now remember, the Y information from the joystick tells the robot to drive forward and backwards. So this is where I'm going to set the front back power. I'm going to set that equal to the joystick information in the Y variable. The X variable from the joystick is going to be our left right power. Now let's set the motor power. You can see that the old motor names are in red. We need to change them to our our new motor name. So I got M1 front, M2 right, M3 back, and M4 left. Now think, which motors moved us forward and backward? It wasn't the front and back ones. It was M2 and M4 moved us forward and backwards. Even though they were on the sides, they move us forward and backwards. M1 and M3, those were responsible for moving us to the left and to the right. So these odd number ones moved us to the left and the right. So take the left right power and use that value and put it into the M1 and M3 motors. Again, the even numbered ones, motors M2 and M4, they're the ones that drive us forward and backward. So let's take that power value that we set up above and give that to motor 2 and motor 4. Finally, we're almost done. The motors on opposite sides of the robot face in opposite directions. So if I really want them to go the same direction, I need to make sure that M3 and M4 are opposite from the ones on M2 and M1. So I can make them opposite by making that value negative. Finally, at the bottom, I have some old telemetry code referencing motor powers left and right. So I'm going to comment that out because I don't need it anymore. Go ahead and download the program and see if it compiles to the phone. So here you can see my robot does drive. I did have to reconfigure the robot so the motors were correct. Uh, the one thing it can't do is spin, so that requires some more programming. Consider that a challenge. Uh, see if you can figure out how to add code to make the robot spin as well.